All right, I'm over here at Sam Ash, and I came in here to check out Michael Kelly basses, and wasn't going to even play this one, but I decided to play it. And I gotta tell you right now, if you're looking for an acoustic electric bass, look no further than a Michael Kelly. I'm not sponsored by them in any way by saying this, but this thing is... I mean, it's... It plays really well. Wow. I mean, it's, <laughs> and look at it, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bass. Like their, their attention to detail here, like this. Oh God, I love that. I kind of want it, but I just, I have too many bases. They're all building up and they're taking up room. So, um, but yeah, this is a really good bass. I am very impressed. I have to say that out of every acoustic electric bass that I've played up to date, this one plays better than all of them put together. I mean, like, it. I mean, let's look at the thing is a little bit of vibration there. Something's. Yeah, there's, so this is how this works. It pops up like that. You don't have to deal with batteries, but obviously this battery is completely dead or, but it locks in like that and it's supposed to turn on, but it's not. So with all that said, I'll just play it real quick so you can hear it. This is the uh, Dragonfly four string. It is very, uh, it's very loud. It's got these portholes here. There's one there and there's another one here. I don't think there's any more, but look at this once again, the attention to detail. I think it's beautiful. Um, my wife says it looks like a hardwood floor. She thinks it's ugly, um, but, so I won't bring it home, but. If this, I mean, I'm sorry, if that bass were fretless, I'd be all over it. I'd probably be leaving here with it right now. And uh, the guy was asking me a question. He was wondering if the round round strings will scratch up the fingerboard. The answer is no. As long as you're not uh, trying to bend, which you don't want to do that with a fretless, you want to swell it not gonna eat up this fingerboard. It's gonna stay looking nice. Um, I know that for a fact, especially with this, with, without any lacquer or anything on it, it's gonna continue to look very, very nice. And I mean, look at that fingerboard, it's beautiful. I mean, it, I love, I love the design of this bass. I mean, it's really cool. I'm a little suspect of this, but. But you don't buy these bases for to plug them up anyway. You just I have ever <laughs> held in my hands. I thought those Jackson, like those bastardized Jackson Rickenbacker body bases were ugly. This takes the cake. This is hideous to me. Um, but 
it plays pretty good for the action being a tad bit high, but not a lot. But anyway, let's see, this is, well, I guess that's, this is active. So. I mean, it's, it plays pretty well. Um, it is Michael Kelly, once again. pickups and I don't know if I should just peel it off I think that'd be kind of rude so I'm trying to be polite and leave it but about it but that's it and sorry I forgot my manners I am playing through a rumble 40 today so this is the amp I'm playing through for everything or actually only this one electric bass because I'm not gonna play any other basses but here it is mm -hmm. 